Welcome to Precision Weigh and Balances. Today we'd like to go over the calibration of a Sartorius AY series. Um, the manual explains how to do the calibration on page 16 of the manual, so I have the manual here. We still get a lot of phone calls from people asking for assistance. How do I exactly calibrate the balance? So we decided to make this video to give you an example. The demonstration that we're going to be showing today, this is an AY412. So on the Sartorius AY series, um, the AYs 123, 303, uh, 212, 412, 612, 511, and 711 all come with the calibration weights. So a lot of phone calls we get are where are the calibration weights. So in the rear of the scale, on the right hand side, you can open up the litter compartment and you'll see on this particular scale it comes with two 100 gram weights. So we'll be calibrating the balance with these two 100 gram weights. Now, the only balances that have the sprint level, your balance should be level when you do your calibration. The only balance in the AY series that come with adjustable feet in a sprint bubble is the AY 123 and 303. So I'm just going to move this scale aside for a minute and show you uh, the model AY. This is an AY 303. You can tell it has a smaller uh, weighing pan and it has this little glass draft shield. But what I wanted to show you is number one, you'll notice there's a sprint bubble right in the center of the scale for leveling the balance. And also, on the AY 123 and 303, there are four adjustable feet. So we get a lot of phone calls from people. Again, we always say we get a lot of phone calls. A lot of people call us with a thousand questions. And basically, if you look at the bottom of this AY41, this is the AY412, you'll notice there are no adjustable feet. The only balances, again, that come with the adjustable feet are the model AY123 and AY303. So your balance should be level prior to doing your calibration. So let's go over how to calibrate the balance. And oh, another reason for calibrating a balance is everywhere in the world is a different magnetic north. So balances should be calibrated, and the manual says let's calibrate the balance before putting it into service. So as I mentioned, the, the balance should be level, which it is, and you want to turn on the balance, and you'll notice in the left-hand corner, there are these, uh, it looks like a, a, a weight. There are two, it's a balance beam with two weights hanging. This is your stability. So your balance, before doing the calibration, should show that the balance is stable. So what you want to do to perform the calibration is first, hit the zero key. The zero key will make sure that the balance is to zero, zero. And to start the calibration, you want to press the count button. The count button shows 200 grams. Now this is the default. If you wanted to, you could change the calibration by repeatedly pressing the F key. So if I press it once, you'll notice now we can calibrate it with a 200 gram weight. If I press it again, we can do it with a 50 gram weight. If I press it again, we'll go back to 200. So we'll leave it at 200, the factory default. And now what you want to do is you want to hit the enter key. So the balance says cal, and it starts to flash 200. And what we want to do is we want to put our 200 gram weight, and we're going to put it right in the center of the balance. And you'll notice the balance flashing, and all of a sudden it reads 200 and it's steady. So the balance has now been calibrated and if we remove the weights you'll see the balance goes back to zero and the balance is now calibrated. There it is, 200. It's going back and forth. So let me show you how to calibrate the balance real quickly using 100 grams instead. So if we press again the count key the balance shows 200. And this time, we'll press the F key, and we'll set it to 100. And now what we want to do is, when it reads 100, we want to hit the Enter key, so it's going to store the 100. So now it's showing 100. 
and this time just to show you how errors can happen we'll put on the 200 grams and if we put on the 200 grams the balance is not going to accept it it will end up showing an error so the balance is just flashing 100 it's looking for the weight and there's 200 grams on it so therefore it's rejecting it altogether now if I remove the other 100 gram you'll notice the balance flashes and then it stops so it stores it and over here on the left hand side you'll see the stability um, symbol so we know this balance has been calibrated if we take the weight off we can put the weight back on we can put the other weight on and you can see the balance is now calibrated so Again, all the calibration instructions for the AY series are on page 16, and it's pretty much self-explanatory. We hope this video helped you in calibrating your Sartorius AY series. We typically have these balances in stock. We ask you to visit our website, either balances.com or scaleman.com. Precision Weigh-In Balances is an authorized Sartorius dealer. Thank you.